All right, all right, what is going on, guys? Today, we have got some official FIFA 22 news. You may have seen some videos about it already. But yeah, some videos on YouTube being uploaded uh, by EA and then some creators as well. Uh, but I woke up today because I'm from Australia and I saw all this news, which is pretty good. So I thought I'd give my piece on it. You guys that follow my videos and all that and for latest FIFA 22 news and just give my general opinions what we're going to see. Uh, definitely a focus going to be on the career mode news. I'm not going to watch the trailer or anything like that. There's a video on YouTube like by EA Sports if you want to watch that. Uh, so I'm not going to make my video about like reacting to the trailer. Uh, let's just give some opinions. Give some opinions on the all the feedback we can see here or give my feedback on what we can see here. Uh, yeah, like the gameplay. I don't like seeing that gameplay. I want to see if there's anything... All right, here we go, Son. But it's good to know information. Yeah, that's it. I want to get to the hard-hitting details. Here we are. What is actually the features? Advanced 11 v 11 match capture. Okay, so is that Xsense? Is that like, a, yeah, like, is that a new, like, match engine or something like that? Or it's just a, a feature? Or it suits enable, um, yeah, suits enable motion capture. Yeah, motion capture, that's what it is. From 22 professional footballers playing at high intensity for the first time. The resulting unprecedented volume of high quality real uh, human movement data. Like, they got these big words, man. Uh, but, okay, what is actually... Go are we going to see that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, each year EA come with this, are we actually going to feel, like, the gameplay being that much better? I feel like people complain about it so much. So, <laughs> FIFA, match learning. All right, a cutting edge... Pro oh, all right, can we, like... These, these are nothing crazy. Full team authentic motion... Like, okay, we get a bit of gameplay from here, but yeah, that's very minimal. All right. Tactical AI. Again, don't they say that every year, that they're improving the defense, they're improving the attack, but really what... Like, <laughs> we complain about the gameplay each year. They always say, like... Oh, this is just me reliving previous years. Like, the AI... Defensive AI, attacking AI improvements. Like, that's not the first time we've heard that. Our memories start flooding back to previous years, all right? Yeah, improvements to the AI in attack and defense. Yeah, we hear that every year. That's why I'm not really taking too much of this. Okay, a little gameplay there uh, with Mbappe. Uh, good finish. Uh, ML Flow. What's ML? Uh, Ma the Okay, that's just the name of it, I guess. Okay, better just to the stride and running cadence on approach to the ball. Yeah, all right. That's cool. Kinetic air battles. Enhanced two-player. See, I don't feel we're going to realize this too much. When you're playing FIFA, you're going to either be happy or mad. You're More the times mad, you'll, you'll be expecting to win a header. When your opponent wins the header, you're not, you're not going, oh, my God, look how kinetic this is. Oh, you're going to be mad and saying, why didn't I win that header? <laughs> like, we're just being realistic here, what people are like when playing FIFA. Composed ball control, that's going to be the same thing. Like, when you are going to have bad touches and all that, you're not going to be like, oh, that's unrealistic. You're going to be mad. <laughs> you're going to be mad when that happens. Uh, longer two-touch animations, though, uh, these are. Controlling the ball more natural and fluid. Like, that's good. Like, that's cool. Will be interesting. Hold up. Yeah, they actually got the transfer of Alaba to Real Madrid. It's a pretty good signing. So moving from that, there he is, David Alaba. Player humanization, just taking this in here. New off-ball player animation. That's what I mean. There's so many things that they're talking about right here, but how are they going to be impacted? Are we really going to feel all these different individual things? Like, I'm just going off previous years because just so you know, like, I'm 30 years old. I've been through so many years of FIFA saying all these new gameplay features, like, going before saying attacking and defensive intelligence. Like, yeah, we've seen, heard about that for years. Uh, the Foot Heroes. I don't do a lot of Ultimate Team stuff on my channel here. Might be streaming a bit on Twitch uh, when the game drops, uh, like a Road to Glory. So go follow on there if you want to see Ultimate Team stuff when that comes around. Uh, but anyway, we want to see Career Mode. And if we were going to have to go into the features, yeah, go into the features here. And there's more that's going to be coming. But Career Mode for now, because, yeah, if we go to these others here, Vol Volta, yeah, full reveal coming soon. Pro clubs, full reveal coming soon. There's new customization options to make your clubs. That's going to go into something else here, I reckon. 
career mode full reveal coming soon so they actually have a reveal for career mode so that's a positive live out your football dreams in fifa 22 career mode as you create a club guys create a club is actually being a feature you may see on youtube some youtubers have basically done like a create a club career mode so that shows like yeah people are wanting to see this lead them from relegation candidates to global giants and enjoy an overhaul player career experience that gives okay those are two different things like is player career mode improved like i actually did a player career earlier in the year but it's been the same for so many years it doesn't it doesn't grip you into it uh yeah i'll definitely play that a bit more if they're you know if they're adding a bit more into the game uh let us know what you guys think we'll, we'll see if actually volta say are they saying anything about it like, nah, that's it just it returns with more flair all over the pitch and new ways to express your style. Yeah, that, that don't think much features will come from that. Yeah, it will be interesting what they do ultimate team. Obviously, that's the big, uh, yeah, that's a big mode for EA that gets the big money. So, you know, they're going to put time and, yeah, features into that. But again, leading to what I said about career mode, the new feature, uh, create a club with new customization options to make your club stand out. Like, that's going to, yeah, tie into, like, that will be like a same feature you can use uh, creating your club. I wonder how deep create a club. Like, are you going to be, can you create like all new players and all that? Again, there's going to be a full reveal coming soon. So I do think we will wait for that to see more details, but I like to think they'll do something with it uh, to a high level. We just have to wait and see. This is all we got for now. We had a little bit of gameplay information, which is nice to see. Uh, uh, did I sound a little bit negative about it? Yes, I did, of course, because speaking from personal experience, uh, we all know the same. But sure, they're good things. <laughs> yeah, they're good features, but career mode is where I want to say the features i feel the gameplay it's like even fifa 21 there's some bad things about the gameplay but we still play it it's like it's still an enjoyable game or we wouldn't be playing it this much like we gotta say people we keep complaining so many people keep complaining about fifa but we still go back to it and play it it's just we have really high expectations uh, from ea sports because <laughs> it has the label of fifa so we always come back to it career mode though i'm hoping I'm hoping they add more. Like, create a club is great. But I'm... Is anyone else? I want to see... I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Get up in the comments about this one. Is the main career mode not going to have any changes? Is create a club? And what if you, you're not really... Like, I don't know, like, about create a club. Like, a lot of people are going to enjoy it. But there's some people that might just want to play with a team. What if you just want to do a normal career mode? Have they not made changes? That's the bad thing about this. I hope that's not the case. There's a full reveal coming and I hope they realize, but I'm scared. I'm actually scared about that. I'm, I'm actually worried that will be the case. The normal career mode would barely be changed. Uh, what do you guys think? I would love for them to prove me wrong, but hey, we're going to leave it there. Just wanted to get, give you guys my opinions on the new features announced and I would love to see yours up in the comments. And if you're new, of course, subscribe. I do make FIFA videos uh, being career mode focused, but I'll leave it there for now and catch you guys in the very next video.